there are forces here at home trying to tear us apart. Islamist extremists and the far right feed off and embolden each other. They are equally desperate to pretend that their violence is somehow justified when actually these groups are two sides of the same extremist coin. And then you've got many others, from Ed Davey down, feeling that an unelected PM lecturing us on extremism when doing nothing about it, apparently, on his own back benches, is a little rich. Uh, but I'm going to speak first to Peter Oborn, former political commentator of The Spectator, Daily Telegraph, and The Daily Mail to boot. Good morning to you, Peter. This use of technical terms which are very sinister in my view extremist islamist and so on these la the language which was used has been used by Rishi Sunak over the last few days and his and his um, far right colleagues in my view it looks like it doesn't it on the on the Tory benches i mean peter I, I, you you yourself you, you you have been on the political right, for, uh, writing about it. More recently, I can clearly detect concerns from you about the direction the Conservative Party is going in. What was Sunak's intention last night? Well, it's very interesting, and I think Alan Rusbridge, the editor of the Guard, former editor of the Guardian, put it rather well. Is this the advice of um, MI5? He's acting on, or, or, or his political strategist, Isaac Levido. Is, in other words, is there something real going on which he has to go out for the first time in his time in number 10 and, and make a speech about a national emergency? Or is he confecting a national emergency to suit the strategy of the Conservative Party, which is lagging massively in the polls, and, and they want to sort of seize the initiative somehow by confecting something? Click here for why we need PR voting now. 